Dr. Josh Axe is a walking miracle. Just over a year ago, what was supposed to be a routine stem cell injection transformed into a nightmare when bacteria was found on the needle. He was left bedridden and nearly paralyzed. One doctor even said he might never walk again. Despite the grim prognosis, Josh refused to succumb to despair. By relying on his faith, embracing natural remedies, and fostering a healing mindset, he embarked on a recovery journey many doctors thought impossible. Today, his body has fully healed against all odds, allowing him to resume an active lifestyle. This profound experience served as the catalyst for Dr. Axe to launch his new podcast, The Growth Lab. Through this platform, he's liberating people from their health challenges and enabling them to live life to its fullest potential. Well, Dr. Axe, it's so great to speak with you again. Welcome to 700 Club Interactive. I'm, I'm excited to chat with you today. Ashley, great to be here again. Thanks so much for having me. Of course. Well, you have a unique blend of a medical background with an emphasis in alternative treatments. How did you get such a passion for natural medicine? Well, the passion really stemmed from a health crisis in my family that happened many years ago when I was in, in school. So right before I got into high school, uh, my mom was diagnosed with breast cancer. And my mom went through all the conventional medical treatments, had a mastectomy, went through rounds and rounds and rounds of chemotherapy. And I still remember her, her losing her hair and thinking to myself as a kid, I never want to see anyone go through this again. And I also thought to myself, though, there has to be a better way. And so that really sparked in me this passion for nutrition and natural healing and uh, and also really tied into my faith of believing that prayer and our mindset about healing is so important. Years later, my mom was diagnosed with cancer again. This time we took a natural approach. We started juicing vegetables, using essential oils, again, the power of prayer, certain vitamins and nutrients like turmeric, and she was able to beat cancer naturally. And I took that and started using that in a functional medicine practice I had many years in Nashville, Tennessee, which eventually then birthed the company I started uh, with a friend of mine, Jordan Rubin, called Ancient Nutrition, uh, that creates now these supplements that help my mom, very similar so much in the past, and now now we, people can buy at Whole Foods Market and Sprouts and online. Uh, but all that being said, what really got me into this field was my mom being so sick and saying, mm -hmm. I want to help people like my mom and Ashley. One of the things I used to always tell my patients was, I'm going to take care of you like I did my own mom and helping you get healthy and well using a natural approach. Wow, that is absolutely amazing. And I am one of those people who your products has helped. So I'm a fan, love your products, and I know so many people do. But about a year and a half ago, you went in for a routine, routine stem cell injection for back pain and something happened that literally changed your life. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, you know, I had this injury from from weightlifting and it was getting much better. Uh, but I had this treatment one time. It was just using my body's own natural stem cells to heal. And I saw a, a really good improvement. I thought, I'm going to get it done one more time. I'll probably get back to 100% after this. They went in, injected my disc with my own stem cells, but somehow the disc, my disc got infected. And after the injection, I didn't realize I went and got an MRI. They didn't, they couldn't pick it up at that time. And then my body felt worse and worse and worse. Well, finally, I woke up one morning three months later and I couldn't walk at all. We had to call an ambulance. Uh, the ambulance came in, had to bring me to um, to a hospital to get an MRI done. Got an MRI, and the doctor and the doctor met with me and said, "Hey, you have a really serious infection. It's not only in your disc now; the infection has got into your bone. So now it's in your vertebra, your L5 vertebra, and it's there's an abscess there. So there's an infection there. So you have an infection right around your spinal cord. Wow. And I went and met with an infectious disease specialist, and, and they said." Um, hey, one of two things is going to happen. One, worst case scenario is you're permanently disabled and you may never walk again. Best case scenario is every time you, you know, every day you're going to have pain. And this, and take it actually, this was just about wow. uh, a little over, a, a little over a year ago. And so I, uh, I said, Hey, I, you know, I, I, I appreciate your help doc, but I really believe I have a God who, you know, is, is, uh, does miraculous things. Mm -hmm. And so I went and listen, I, I, I listened to that infectious disease doctor, the conventional doctor, and, and he made some recommendations and I said, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to do 
uh, one of these things that you recommend here, and I, because I know that this is a serious issue, but I'm also going to do a lot of natural things, like get in a hyperbaric chamber. Uh, I'm going to take, I'm going to eat perfectly, eating mostly vegetables and organic meat. I'm going to take essential oils. I'm going to have people pray for me. In fact, I was so blessed, Ashley. I had Benny Hinn call me on the phone, and I'm no way. blessed to have these connections. Yeah, so Benny Hinn <laughs> gave me a call and he prayed for me on the phone. Wow. I had Heidi Baker, Bill Johnson, just some amazing, amazing Christian uh, mm. Christian leaders. And um, and so, and I started going through this process. Well, that, that treatment that he recommended, I, I only needed to do one third of the time that most people would need to do it. And then in addition to that, I did all these natural therapies and then my body started to heal. Now the disc doesn't get much blood supply, so it doesn't heal very well. Mm -hmm. And I also want to say this, you know, it, it, it took a little while for me to start healing. You know, there were emotions I'd never quite experienced before, like despair, a little bit of hopelessness, just just um, because I think I had always been active every day of my life and then not being able to work out or move for four months uh, was was really a long wow. time. And then actually, it, I didn't walk for almost a year, 10 months. I didn't walk at all. I could only crawl. Wow. Uh, places uh, like to the pool to get in for some therapy. And so I um, I started going through this process after 10 months was able to start walking again. Uh, I wanted to be able to walk at that point in time because my sister-in-law asked me if I would uh, marry her and her husband. Uh, wow. And so I was able to officiate that wedding, which is a real blessing in June. Mm -hmm. And so, and then now I'm, I'm back, I'm working out in the gym and, and I don't have that pain. So he told me the best case scenario it would be, I would have pain from this the rest of my life and actually I don't have any pain Wow. Are related to it on a on a daily basis. And so, you know, one of the things that made me realize is that, you know, while food is medicine, I've spent the first part of my career talking about how important food is, food is as medicine. And I truly believe it is important. I believe that mindset medicine is even more important, that we need to awaken a healing mindset and the power of our beliefs is so important. You know, Jesus talked about this constantly in the gospels that it by our faith, we are healed. Our beliefs, our faith are so important to healing. And I had to continue continually fix my eyes on Jesus and go back and realize he's my healer, quoting yeah. scripture, spending time in praise and worship. And I truly believe that was the most important part of my healing process of me getting back to 100%. Wow, I am like speechless. That is just absolutely incredible to to know where you were. I mean, you were crawling places and now you're back to living a healthy, active lifestyle. You're a dad, so now you're able to really, yeah. you know, be back playing with your little girl. Um, you know, there was obviously a turning point for you emotionally and mentally. What was that turning point for you and when was that turning point? Yeah, you know, I, I, that, that turning point was uh, when, again, and it had been a couple days. I, I think after getting that diagnosis, it was hard to hear that, you know, you know, anybody who'd be in that position, right? And you have a doctor tell you, you may be permanently disabled, you may never walk again. It's hard to hear. So I think a couple days after that, I just felt this sense of, is he right? And mm. I, I had this moment that after about a 24 hours of feeling that way, and I just went to God and... And there, there, there were a couple things that that really uh, showed up for me mentally. And one was God is ever faithful. You know, He is so faithful. And I look back over my life about God healing my mom, God healing friends and family members, and and how God performs the miraculous. And I think just real and realizing this as well is that those negative thoughts don't serve me. You know, there's something called the placebo effect, and it actually states that your beliefs really impact your outcome. And mm. there are scientific studies to prove this, that if you believe and know that you're going to be healed, your body subconsciously starts sending growth factors and stem cells and, and things to actually help you heal. Versus if you don't believe you're going to heal, your brain and your nervous system won't actually work on repairing the area. So both this scientific approach of understanding that my beliefs and believing I'm going to be healed is important, but even more than that, that biblical uh, biblical wisdom of fixing our eyes on Jesus, knowing he's our healer. Those are so important. You know, actually, as I was going through this as well, because I started realizing as I'd worked with tens of thousands of patients over the years, the biggest obstacle to most people healing is not their eating. Most people actually generally know what to eat. Mm. They know they need more vegetables. They need no. They need, need more fruits. They know eating organic meat is better, but a lot of times they don't do it. Mm. And also, 
you know, I think a lot of times people don't realize how powerful the mind is at healing and supporting our metabolism, our immune system, and just generally helping us heal from anything. So I started writing a book. That book will actually uh, comes out here uh, in the near future next year. Mm -hmm. And the book is called Think This, Not That. Because what we think, you know, there's the proverb, right? As a yeah. man thinketh in his heart, so is he right? That's the wisdom of Solomon. That's the wisdom that God, God passed on to him. And so for me, I meditate on that as I think it's, I am healthy. I am healed, you know, G, you know, by, by his stripes, I am healed. And so that, that was a, that was a really powerful lesson for me, uh, is that, you know, our mindset is our greatest form of medicine. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, Dr. Axe, if, if someone is at home and they're watching and they've just been given, you know, a similar diagnosis, just something that's just totally rocking their life right now, what word of encouragement would you give them? But also maybe what are some practical things that they can do and start doing today that yeah. will help in their healing? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to give three simple steps here. Okay. Number one, visualize exactly the outcome you want for yourself. So I did this, by the way, I, I have a, I have a three and a half year old. And at the time she was two, as I was going through this mm -hmm. and it was the hardest thing. Cause a, a few weeks before I was throwing her up in the pool, right. Yeah. And, and, and running around with her and, and, and wrestling with her. And I couldn't do that at all. And so I wanted to visualize myself doing that with her again. And so I had a really clear vision of me playing with my you know, not just one daughter, but multiple kids. So I visualize mm. that very specifically. The other thing is there's a study that showed this, that you can amplify the placebo effect. So you want to visualize and believe in that outcome, but two, you want to tie emotions to it. And so spend time as you visualize that praising God, living in a state of gra gratitude for, for that and, and, and really feeling the joy and excitement rise up in you. Step number three, uh, have a plan. So do every, so say, so no, I'm trying to end up here where I'm going to start throwing my baby girl in the air, or I'm going to start walking again, or you're going to lose 50 pounds, or you're going to reverse autoimmune disease or cancer, whatever it is, mm -hmm. and then create the plan to do that. Some of the best things, if you are in a point of pain right now or sickness is if you don't know what to do, work with somebody who does, okay, find a doctor, find a health coach, find somebody who can help create a plan for you, right? So diet, diet wise, I found that eating mostly cooked vegetables in, in organic meat, those two things, making that the base of your diet mm -hmm. will help most people experience the greatest level of healing, then taking some good supplements, whether it be turmeric, or bone broth protein, or, you know, medicinal mushrooms like reishi or a multivitamin or greens powder, but get some of those good quality supplements in your diet. And here's another big one, start walking walking and doing what I'd call a prayer walk. So I'll put on mm. praise and worship music and go for a walk. And then a part of that, I'll say everything I'm grateful for. Yeah. Just walking outside, even when it's cold out 20 minutes, twice a day, does incredible things for helping people heal. So I would mm. say those things, but that form of mindset medicine of believing and knowing God's going to heal you, spending time praising him for the healing before it happens, yes. I think it's important as well. And one additional step I'd encourage everybody to do is, is, is go and order my book, Think this, not that. You can go on Amazon.com and just search think this, not that. And I go through exactly what you need to think and believe mm -hmm. to help yourself heal. Uh, and you can also find the book. I mentioned Amazon. You can also go to joshax.com. And if you go there and buy the book, I actually have a free gift for everyone. And it's a mindset class I did on how to improve your beliefs and your mindset. So the book is think this, wow. not that. You can find it on amazon.com or joshax.com. And for a limited time, you can get the free gift, a whole video series I do on there for free. That is absolutely amazing. Such practical, wise advice. Dr. Axe, thank you so much for being with us today. I'm I'm praising God along with you just for what he's doing in your life and continue how he continues to use you and your family uh, and your business in really powerful ways. Ashley, well, thanks so much for having me on. Again, just want to encourage everybody. Well, that's one of the reasons why CBN and 700 <laughs> Club and these videos are so powerful is it helps retrain our mind. It helps build our thoughts, build our faith, build mm. our beliefs. It helps us heal and be healthier. So I'm so grateful for your mission and what you're doing. And thanks so much for having me on again. Of course, of course. We'll have you back soon. Definitely excited for that. Well, if you're watching at home and you would like more, there's plenty of available content for you. Check out episodes of Dr. Axe's new podcast, The Growth Lab on every major podcast platform and also YouTube, or you can also get his book excited for that.
Hey everyone, I'm Ashley Key. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so we can reach more people with encouraging content like you just watched and so you never miss a beat. See you next time and God bless.